Because you don't worry about people seeing you. I mean, Why? aren't you worried about Evan oh, coming they're in? They're all working late. Who cares about them? Uh, we're all alone. As a matter of fact, look, I have bushes. I have wonderful chicken. flowering shrubs. Six. I have open lawn. We have no need to feel inhibited. Well, I'm feeling lots of things, but inhibited is not one of them. I am sorry. I'm sorry. I'm late. I'm sorry. Hi. Something came up after I called. Okay, Hi, what Mama. Came up, honey? Well, you know, I told you that I was going to the Mona Lisa to question Arthur Claiborne. He said that he was going to stay in Oakdale tonight so that he could inquire about the Crawford case tomorrow. But then, after I questioned him, he said he was going right back up to Chicago tonight. So? Well, he said that he'd been in Chicago for three days at the Shoreline Hotel. And the Chicago PD checked it out, and he had indeed to register there for one night. But he's still registered for tonight. So why, would he, why wouldn't he check out if he was going to stay in Oakdale tonight? Because he's, he was returning tomorrow and he didn't want to lose the room. Because his shoes were under the bed. Because... Uh, no, no, no. You don't understand. See, he said he was in Chicago for three days. Where'd he stay the other two nights? That sounded like gunshots. It's probably just a car backfiring. I should call Frank. Brought to you today by Scope, the best thing first thing in the morning. Mm, honey, we're talking grounds for divorce. It's so bad you can taste it. Mm. The sticky, pasty film inside your mouth. It's pretty bad. You wake up with every morning of your life. Morning breath. I'll be right back. Fight morning breath with scope. Antiseptic scope kills on contact 90% of the bacteria that cause morning breath. Come and get it. I'm all yours. Fuck her up, sweetie pie. Antiseptic scope. It's the best thing first thing in the morning. Your kiss is ready. Bounty Big Roll asks, are you impatient with husbands who don't change the roll of paper towels? If you can't change your husband, then maybe you should change to new Bounty Big Roll with 50% more sheets. So when regular Bounty's gone, Bounty Big Roll keeps on going and going and going. Husbands may not change, but you can change to new Bounty Big Roll, the quicker, bigger upper. Think about what your kitchen sink goes through every day. Everything you pour out, wash off, or dump down actually leaves behind stains that can seep deep down below the surface of your sink. That's why you need Comet with bleach-boosted chlorinol. Comet cleans and disinfects. It penetrates the tiny cracks powering out the tough, greasy food stains other cleansers leave behind. So deep down, your kitchen sink is cleaner. Comet, deep down, you know it's cleaner. So right, because if you weren't all knocked up, I'd think about taking you with me. Instead of leaving you here with a snot-nosed kid like Andy Dixon. Why don't you just take your jackpot and leave tonight? Yeah, maybe I'll do that, babe. Before I do that, I'll be sure and come down and say goodbye. 
So you don't need to worry. Hi, it's Andy Dixon. I can't get to the phone right now, but leave me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Did you hear the shots? I the thought I heard something. It's not a car back No, no. The, 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 the new tenant upstairs, Mr. Weaver. Did you know him? I mean, oh, I've got to call the police. I, oh, let me, may I use your phone? Oh. Oh, yes. I, I'd like to report a shooting. No, a man's been shot. No. No, he's dead. Yeah, what I want to know is why didn't Arthur Claiborne get back to you all this time? Well, he said he was out of touch with his office when he was in France and even when he was in Chicago. You know, if you ask me, if a man is having so much trouble with his business, why would he keep an expensive hotel room and not even use it? I mean, if it... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're the detective. I'm sorry. It's good. It's good. It's very good, Mama, yeah. <laughs> you know what else she told me was that Dad was with... Franny and Daryl at the Mona Lisa? Yeah, looks like Daryl dropped the bomb tonight about wanting the marriage to be before the summer was out. Uh-huh, how did Dad take that? I think he was really trying to accept it. I mean, it's hard not to be happy for him. They're so obviously in love. Too. Happening too fast. No kidding. Well, maybe I'm just prejudiced because of Larry. Speaking of which, I, I, I should call him, tell him I'm here. Okay. Yeah, why don't you ask him to come on over? Yeah? It's still, it's Hi, H how you doing? Okay, just uh, sitting here contemplating the meaning of life. Oh, well that doesn't sound like much fun. <laughs> I, I met Tom and Margo's. Wanna come over? Um, thanks, but no thanks. I'm not much in the mood of taking the chance of running into Franny and Daryl again. Well, do you want to talk? Do you want me to come home now? Oh. Listen, I'm fine. I'm just sitting here doing some thinking, that's all. Oh, okay. Well, well I'll be home in a little while anyway. Okay. Bye-bye. How's he doing? He's putting up a brave front, but he... He really thought things were going to work out for those two of us. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty tough time for Larry. Sooner or later, someone else will come along. Just like Lucinda did for Cal since you threw him over. <laughs> I didn't throw him over. <laughs> Cal and Lucinda, what is this, some kind of a joke? No, not at all. They were at the Mona Lisa tonight. Oh, that's a weird couple. No, no, oh, not at all. Now, you think about it. They've got a lot in common. <laughs> Lucinda obviously appreciates him, makes him feel good. And, well, I thought they were having a real good old time of it tonight, didn't you, Mama? <laughs> I wasn't paying that much attention. This coffee's... Stinks. I guess you made it, huh? <laughs> Didn't pour water in it. <laughs> Warning. UV rays in ordinary daylight may contribute to lines, wrinkles, even skin cancer. Caution. Your face is exposed to UV rays every day of your life. Oil of Olay introduces daily UV protectant. SPF 15 protection. Because over time, unprotected skin can look like this. A moisturizer so like young skin's fluid, it penetrates instantly. Important for healthier, younger-looking skin. Now, and years from now. New daily UV protectant. How's your headache? My headache? I could give you a hand with that if you want. How did you know I have a headache? It shows. For a headache so bad it shows, take aspirin-free Excedrin. Aspirin-free Excedrin? Aspirin-free Excedrin. Extra strength Excedrin relief without aspirin. Aspirin-free Excedrin. For a headache so bad it shows. Looking good. And for nighttime headaches and sleeplessness, Excedrin PM. It's aspirin-free. My husband's a doctor, but he's not the only health specialist in this family. That's why I use Pam. Just look at all the fat and cholesterol in butter compared to Pam. And just taste these salmon steaks. No stick Pam, the healthier way to cook. Looking forward to that luau, don't 
let plans fall through, use Rental Sure Seal bags. They're tougher than ordinary bags. Remember, it's Rental Sure Seal or bust. Check your mail for money saving coupons on Rental Sure Seal bags. Tuesday, a woman is trapped inside a deadly inferno while her family watches in horror. I said, God, take her before she burns. Rescue 911. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, Matthew said that Bianca is still out with Zach. Yeah? Yeah. I'm still in shock. <sighs> Lucinda and Cap, guinea dip. It's a good thing they didn't see us. <laughs> I know. I didn't know he was interested in her. I thought he was interested in Lila Pretty. Yeah, so did I. I guess it didn't work out. I guess not. I just, I, I don't know. Cal and Lucinda, I can't see that. I mean, Cal's a real straight shooter. And Lucinda's... Okay, stop. What? I know where that's headed. Poor Julie. Oh, poor Julie. Look what Lucinda did to her. Oh. Um, no, I, not just Julie. I'm talking about Dad and Duke. Not again. Not well, I, again. She wouldn't be calling so late. That might, that might be it. Okay, so maybe it's another false alarm, Annie. Maybe she just wants to talk. Fine, call her. Go ahead, call her. I know you're worried about her. Julie. Andy, I'm so glad to hear your voice. Are you okay? Is it the baby? No, it's not that. Something terrible has happened. Listen, I'm gonna have to find a hotel or something. I can't stay here. What? What happened? I can't talk about it on the phone here. I'll, I'll call you when I find a place to stay. No, don't, don't leave there. Don't go anywhere until I get there. I don't want you coming up here this time of night. I'm, I'm on my way right now. Don't leave. What is it now? Lindsay. She sounds scared, though. The doctor says she has to avoid all stress. I gotta go up there, Court. Okay, I gotta go I'll right go with there. you. No, no, no. I don't... Look, she would just get really upset if she knew that you were involved in all this. Right? Fine, we can't have that, can we? Courtney! <laughs> Fine! It's okay, go. It's okay. okay. I have to go. Go. I'll call you. I'll call you as soon as I, as soon as I find out what's going on, okay? Hey, Courtney. Oh, hi, Evan. Wow. <laughs> uh, Andy just dropped me off. I'm staying the night with Bianca. Well, you want some company while you wait? Sure. Sure. Here. Andy didn't touch it. Could you have gone out and left her alone like that? She was helping so sit alone. I would have, but someone called and invited me to go to the cellar. And Carolyn... Oh, you, you, you couldn't have waited till I got home? You couldn't have called to let me know you were out and Carolyn would be here alone? I mean, why do you think I give you the number where I can be reached? I, I know, though, that's what I should have done, but... Oh, we trusted you enough to carry our child. We, we welcome you into our home. And the first night you're here, you run off like I an irresponsible... something so horrible could happen. How could I have known? How could I have known? sitting around reading. Dana, I hope you don't think I expect you to stay home and read every night. Oh, it's not that I like to. You know, I, I've never been much of a reader, but you have so many wonderful books in your library. Oh, Dana, Daryl's right. You should get out more often. I mean, I know that you used to enjoy going to the cellar with Andy and Courtney. Yeah. Yes, well, I don't even like to think about that. I am still blaming myself for going there that night. Dana, you have to stop blaming yourself for that. No, I mean, the things I said to you that night were coming out of grief and pain. I hope you know that. I blame myself, too, for not being here to protect her. What we both need to do is to stop thinking about it and, and get on with the rest of our lives. Well, I know that the most important thing that I can do now is to...
take good care of myself. Make sure that the baby's healthy. Thanks. I know you'll do that. In the meantime, Franny and I have something we want to tell you. Yeah. We've uh, already had the chance to talk to my family about it, but since you're really part of Daryl's family now, we thought that you should know. You don't have to tell me. I already know. It Did may it? seem kind of sudden. <laughs> no. I understand it. I'm very happy for you. I know that Carolyn would have been, too. Yeah, I believe that. Well... I just hope that the police find out who was responsible for the murder. Well, we're on to a good lead. They've identified the man who tried to sell Carolyn silver service in Chicago. He has connections with the mob. Once they find him, well, maybe we'll find out who was behind the break-in. Detective Hinton of Chicago PD suggested I speak to a Detective Hughes. No, she isn't in right now, but I can get her a message. Are you sure this is about Frank Wendell? Yeah. Uh, he rented the apartment as Fred Weaver, but we have uh, found a wallet on him with uh, Illinois driver's license as uh, Frank Wendell. Photos of Ringer. Any idea who shot him? Looks like a mob hit, three shots to the chest, left his watch, money in the wallet. The landlady said that after she heard the shot, she looked out the window and saw a guy jump into the passenger seat of a dark sedan. She didn't get the license plate number. I see. What's the address? I'm on my way. Seems like the Oakdale police are interested in investigating this guy uh, in connection with the Crawford case. You know, the one in all the newspapers. Yeah, tough break, huh? Doesn't look like this guy's gonna be answering any questions now. Like you just stepped out of a salon. Salon Selective shampoos and conditioners give you salon beautiful hair every day. Shining, glowing, you feel so beautiful knowing. Ooh, you're looking like you just stepped out of a salon. With Salon Selectives, you select your personal shampoo and conditioner. Used together, they work even better to give you salon beautiful hair. You're looking like you just stepped out of a salon. If your doctor has recommended Metamucil and you like the results, but you don't like those glasses of thick liquid, change to FiberCon. Get the same fiber action in easy-to-swallow tablets. Get doctor-recommended FiberCon. I'm a big kid, look what I can do. I can wear big kid pants too. Introducing Pull-Up's Disposable Training Pants from Huggies. They go on like underwear and protect like a diaper, even overnight. And I can pull them off and on. New Pull-Up's Disposable Training Pants. Mommy, wow! I'm a big kid now. Of course I killed them. I just aimed, shot, and killed those little creeps myself. Faster killing black flag ant and roach killer kills with an exterminator proven ingredient. They all deserve to die. Black flag. Is the major getting too predictable? I'm as spontaneous as the next guy. Whoop, 2100 time for me to watch. World News Roundup. And everybody thinks their family's crazy. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Shut up. Everybody's right. It's an all-new Family Man after Major Dad tonight. See the very first episode of Northern Exposure tonight. Hey, Mama, why don't you let Katie stay here tonight until Marilyn come by in the morning? Yeah, okay, that sounds like a good idea. Thanks. You know, Mama, you seemed um, annoyed when I brought up Cal and Lucinda earlier. I'm not annoyed. I'm just a little annoyed that people keep reminding me what a wonderful time that Cal and Lucinda had tonight. I mean, who cares? I can't imagine Cal taking Lucinda seriously anyway. Oh, really? Why not, Mama? I mean, Lucinda's a very attractive woman, and she can be a lot of fun. And I think that Cal is probably lonely after having been dumped by Emma Snyder, and now you. He's probably really interested in someone returning his interest at some point you know and let's face it hey the guy's a catch i mean he's he's kind he's got a great personality he's handsome he's giving he's rich but hey who needs that right well 
it looks like Daddy has a magic touch with Casey. I've got to go. I'll call Marilyn and tell her to pick her Katie up here in the morning. Okay. Nice talking to you, yeah, Mom. Yeah, as always. Good night, Tom. Um, good night. <laughs> I think my mom is having some real serious second thoughts about Cal Strickland. Well, that's not why I came down here. I came down to find out if Daddy still has that magic where Mommy is concerned. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? Curses. Hello. Uh, sorry, no, Margaret. Here, you have the wrong number. <laughs> it's Joel. Hey, Joel, what's up? What? Oh, no, 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 no. Well, give me the address, and I'm on my way. Uh, she's not on her way, Joel. Can't make it. Off duty. All right, all right. Yeah, Tom said the same thing. Listen, you call me when you get there. Okay. It was Joel on his car phone. He's on his way to Park Forest. Frank Wendell's been murdered. So, I spent most of my life trying to catch up to Connor, and that hadn't been easy. She was finishing Harvard Business School when I was just starting at SUNY Binghamton. I don't see why you feel you have to compete. You guys are so lucky to just to have uh, each other. Now, don't get me wrong. We're very close, but uh, we've always just been competitive. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. That I'm sure there was some kind of sibling rivalry between you and Sean. No, nope. not a bit. Well, that surprises me. He seems like a very ambitious guy. Well, you know, he wasn't always. He used to be a ball player. And it wasn't until my parents were killed that he felt he had to take care of me, you know, settle down, get into business. So now I know why you worked so late. You're trying to catch up with Connor, huh? Oh, it's not just that. Uh, everyone over at Walsh has been gearing up for the stockholders meeting. It... <clears throat> well, I guess Bianca's running a little late. How about we go for a swim? Oh, I don't think that's such a hot idea. Hi. Hey, oh. didn't realize you were such a night owl. Yeah, well, I'm sorry I'm late. Um, oh. Zach and I went to a late movie. Wow. <laughs> There's no problem at all. Evan's been keeping me company. Good. Um, so where's Andy? Uh, oh, hi, kids. What are hi. you doing cooped up in here? Why don't you go outside? The pool is particularly wonderful tonight. Uh, well, I just came back from the movie with Zach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I called Bianca to see if I could stay the night. You know, Ellen has a lot of people over at the house. Oh, you're donning the funeral. Of course you can. Yes. Give her my best, too. I will, and she thanks you for the beautiful flowers. Where? Andy's not with you this evening? Um, well, he was earlier, but he had to go because uh, he has to get up early for work. Oh, why? They're going to... Don't tell me they're going to serve breakfast at the yacht club. <laughs> no, they're, no, they're not. <laughs> and why does he have to get up so early? Uh, uh, photography jobs, uh -huh. you know. He even got a beeper so he doesn't miss those calls. Lucinda, you aging that brandy or what? Excuse me. You're excused? You're excused. Don't be rude, Joe. Sorry. <laughs> Listen, that swim sounds great. How about it? Oh, a swim. Let's I'm go swim. <laughs> well, I'll get changed in the pool I'll house. I'll see you down there. It. Yes, okay. Can you come here and sit down? What, what? Why did Andy leave? Guess. Julie. Julie. She beeped him on that beeper. God. He just... He just picked up, he left, he dropped everything. I wanted to go. Could I? No, because he thought it might make her upset. Poor, sensitive Julie. You know, listen, I know it's, it's really hard for you right now, Courtney, but just think, when this baby is finally born, and you won't have to run up there anymore. I want to believe that. I want to believe that. I can't, though. Sometimes I think, sometimes I feel like that baby is more important to Annie than it is to Julie. Tell me Frank was here. I understand now. Why you been so nervous? You should have called the police, right? Right when he showed up. I mean, he's one for questioning the Lombard I case. couldn't call the cops. I wanted to, but he said he would call Caleb. So then I told him he could forget it because the baby was yours. But I only told him that so, he, that so that he would leave me alone. And then he believed it. And then he threatened to call your dad. I had no idea. I didn't want any of this. It was Frank that called you on the beeper. He was doing that to scare me. He's such a crazy son of a... But who would have killed him? And why? He was, uh... You said he was involved with the mob? Yeah. 
I was so scared the cops were going to come here. I took a rag and I wiped off the refrigerator and the, and the phone and everything that might have had his oh, finger. Oh, Julie, you shouldn't have done that. That's that's destroying evidence. What evidence, Andy? I don't have anything to do with this. I don't know anything about it. What did you tell the... What did you say to the police when they came here? I said that I thought I heard gunshots, but then I thought it was a car backfiring until the landlady told me what it was. Then they asked me if I knew Mr. Weaver, which is obviously the name that Frank had come up with, and I, I, I said I didn't know who he was. What if they find out that I was his wife? How could they find out? I don't know, Andy, but I can't let anybody know that I was married to him. It'll be all the papers that I'm here. Um, can you make me some coffee, please? I'm gonna go splash some water on my face. And, uh, then we'll figure this out. Yeah. Miss Sherry, it's Mrs. Foster. I'm sorry, I know it's late, but the Oakdale police are here. They want to talk to you about Mr. Weaver. For the itch and pain of bug bites and allergic rashes, even the strongest hydrocortisone can't give you the same kind of relief you get from Benadryl cream because it stops the pain and blocks itch right where it starts. Benadryl cream and spray. Hello. Hi, what are you doing? Actually, uh, I'm having some waffles. Oh, I love a man with self-control. <laughs> These happen to be Ego Nutrigrain waffles made with the whole grain. No added sugar, no preservatives. Gee, Nutrigrain waffles are pretty nutritious. Yeah, and what'll you taste them? Well, you mind if I come over and join you? <gasps> and let go my Ego? Is that out of the question? I'm uh, willing to negotiate. Ego Nutrigrain waffles, also available in multi-brand. A continuing subversion of nature's design. Tropicana Twister announces new designer flavors. How absolutely uncalled for. Tropicana Twister, now with exotic new flavors Mother Nature never planned on. One sip is a world of trouble. Orange strawberry guava, orange mango, mandarin orange papaya. Could lead to dancing. Tropicana Twister, flavors Mother Nature never intended, but should have. We may have to nip this thing in the bud. A new American cheese snack idea. Grill it up and slice it up so little fingers can pick it up. Cut it up, fun it up, guaranteed they'll eat it up. Mm. American cheese. Kids are up for it anytime. We'll continue with part two of As the World Turns in just a moment. Ridge Forester. You're beautiful when you sweat, you know that? Sensuous. Irresistible. No, I bought it for me. To wear for you. And unforgettable. Fall in love with Ridge. Don't underestimate what you mean to me. On the bold and the beautiful. This is CBS. The angriest mom in America. Police ruled her son's death suicide. She says she has evidence to prove it was murder on hard copy. Get the hard facts today at 5.30. Then join Charles Fishburne and Lisa LaFata for the 6 p.m. report right here on TV6. Classic was absolutely perfect until... It was a gust. It was just a freak storm. On the next People's Court, his little baby was so beautiful, Mother Nature must have gotten jealous. Are you telling me that the wind came up before you had a chance to go back and secure yes, the sir, it did. canopy anymore? Just like that. And a gentleman came up to me and said, you better check your car. He says, that canopy hit it. Things get stormy on the next People's Court. People's Court, today at 4 on TV6. I just wanna take it slow I just wanna taste that's rich Introducing Kraft 1898 Barbecue Sauce Slowly simmer the old-fashioned way for a rich, rich taste I just wanna take it slow I just wanna taste that's rich New Kraft 1898 Slowly simmered for a rich, rich taste TV6, your first choice for early news. Two of As the World Turns. Yes? Miss Shea, I'm Detective Higgins, Oakdale Police. I'm sorry to disturb you, but I'd like to speak with you for a moment about the shooting upstairs. May I come in? 
Sure, but uh, I already talked to the Park Forest Police. I don't know anything. Well, I'm speaking to all the tenants. I know that since your apartment is directly beneath Mr. Wendell's, I thought you might have heard something. Mr. Wendell's? I thought you said his name was Mr. Weaver. Well, that's the alias he was using. Did you see anything unusual at all while he was living upstairs? Did you hear any of the tenants or the visitors he may have had come and go? No, I, I didn't even know he was there. Like, uh, I heard these gunshots and, well, I told the cops, the, the, the police officers, when they were here before, I thought it was a car backfiring. Did you ever meet Mr. Window? No. He was involved with the mob, wasn't he? I never had anybody like that in my building. I don't know what a man like that would be doing in Park Forest. Good question. Well, thank you, Miss Shea. My partner, Detective Hughes, may come up tomorrow, but I doubt if we'll have to disturb you again. Uh, good luck with your baby. Yes, and try and get some rest, Jim. Yeah, I hope so. Wish the store had triple locks on it. I don't think you have anything to worry about. Whoever was here already got what they came for. I hope so. Good night. What if Largo comes up here tomorrow? Even if she does, I, you haven't done anything wrong. You haven't withheld evidence, right? You don't know why Frank was here. And you couldn't know why Frank was murdered. Oh, ooh, I have an idea. I have an idea. Let's go upstairs and play that there is no such thing as police business game. I can't. Higgins hasn't called me back yet. So much for my magic touch. Tom, this is not just another case. This involves someone that we're both very close to, the man who's going to marry your sister. Don't remind me. Hello. Yeah, Joel, what's going on? Ooh, that is too bad. Well, is there any chance that we can have the body and personal effects brought back here so we can have another look? Okay, great. Then I'll, I'll talk to you in the morning. Joel says it looks like a mob hit. Who are you calling? Daryl. I think he has a right to know that Frank Wendell's been murdered. Your parents are, they're understanding, and they're, uh, they have their reservations, but I think... That... But you could talk anybody into doing just about anything you wanted, couldn't you? Well, listen, young lady, when I want something as bad as I want you, this guy right here is willing to pull up all the stops. Meryl, mm -hmm. um, I think, I think maybe you should take me home now. Right. Mm. You know what? I keep thinking about that beach in Puerto Rico. I, mm -hmm. I remember it too, I do, but, you know, we're not here by ourselves. Well, Dana's you know, is happy for us. I know that, but she... Hmm. Hello. Margo. Yeah. Hi. Look, I just want to say again how happy I am for you. Thanks, Dean. I, I know this, this all probably seems very sudden to you, but... Um, no, not I, really. Look, if you both know how you feel, I don't see why you should wait. I know that Carolyn would not have wanted Daryl to be alone. Dana. I remember when, when you told Daryl and me the reason why you took the little ladybug charm. You, you said that it represented to you a love that you'd never had before in your life. I want you to know I really want that for you. I want you to be able to find someone to love the way I love Daryl now. Well, I don't know if that's going to happen, but, Franny, if I can just give birth to a healthy baby and open up the beauty shop the way I've wanted, that's enough for me for now. So have you talked to your ex-husband lately? Okay. Well. What? What's the well, matter? that was a call about Frank Wendell, the man we were hoping would lead us to Carolyn's killer. Mm -hmm. Well, they found him. Shot. Dead. Great. That's just great. Julie Snyder's ex-husband. 
Well, I, do you think I should call Caleb so that he could let Julie know? Report on women's health. January 1991, gynalotrimin freed women of needing a prescription to cure recurrent vaginal yeast infections. In the time I took to get a prescription, with gynalotrimin, my cure has begun. Gynecologists have prescribed gynalotrimin to cure millions of women. It's available full prescription strength for early treatment, early cure, and that's healthier. Gynalotrimin is important news for women's health. Gynalotrimin, it brings you early treatment, early cure. You're not going to believe this. Kotex just came out with a new maxi, so incredibly thin you hardly know it's there. This is it. It's called Ultra Thin. It's amazing to think a maxi so much thinner than ordinary thins could protect so well. But see this special blue strip? It means Ultra Thin works in a totally new way. It actually draws moisture in and locks it away. The Kotex Ultra Thin Maxi. So new, so incredibly thin, you've got to try it to believe it. Now my swimsuit is still too small and I'm not going near the water till it fits. That'll be my reward. Why? Why did you get a bathing suit that was too small? Kat, you're just perfect the way you are. Yeah, fat. Courtney, you are not fat. Come on, I wouldn't lie to you. You have a great figure. It's all in your mind. It's not. It's in the mirror. Just a couple of pounds anyway. Courtney, I know that you're worried about Andy. Evan Scott, shh, I'll try to run it later. Courtney, what is it going to take to get you in the water? Well, I was just telling Bianca that I'm not really in the mood today. But soon, soon. How soon? I mean, I'm not going to be staying here that much longer. And I get the feeling that somehow I'm not going to find an apartment with a private pool. Evan, you know, I don't know why you want to move out. My mother loves having you here. I just think it's time I get a place of my own. If you find out of any place, uh, let me know. I'd like to get moved in before the stockholders' meeting. Wait a minute. I just helped Andy's dad move out of the Hughes' garage apartment. It's a great little place, and uh, Andy's mom would be a great landlord. Well, sure, I'd love to see it. Oh, I'll ask her. I don't know what her plans are, but I'll certainly let you know. <sighs> you didn't come down here earlier because Lucinda was here with Cal Strickland, huh? Yeah, Andy and I kind of walked in on him. <laughs> Even in the moonlight, I can tell you're blushing. What, what, what's going on here? Nothing. Oh, come on. No, stop, stop. You don't know, no, I have a terrible habit of, of talking when I should keep my mouth shut. Andy's always on my case about it. Seems like he's on your case about a lot of things. You know, I don't understand that. What's the use of caring about someone so much when all you want to do is try to change them? I hate to say it, but I gotta be heading for home pretty soon. Now that we've discovered that we're both water people, I just want you to know that I've got upstairs the most wonderful whirlpool bath. Yeah, but you also have Evan and Connor and Matthew and a whole raft of children in there. <laughs> One night that I would really like to have a little privacy and I gotta have this house brim full of well, kids. Have another chance. Good. I ah, hope so. I really do. You comfortable? Yeah. You know, I don't get something. I what? just don't I don't follow it. I don't get it. Emma Snyder. Well, not really to get. I mean, Emma and I were. Well, I think everybody expected us to tie the knot. Yeah. So? Made the mistake of taking her down to Texas and she didn't like what she saw. She oh, that's like this crazy. I've heard that your ranch is really beautiful. It is. Yeah. It didn't impress Emma. Anyway, she wants to keep her life just the way it is. She's happy and content. Oh. Let's see. And of course, I think you took Nurse Peretti down there too, didn't you? Hmm? 
I did, yeah. Mm -hmm. So she could visit with Meg. <laughs> well. And more to it than that. Oh, no. well, of course. There's always more to it than that. Yeah. We were mm -hmm. having what I would call a serious flirtation. And then <laughs> she just decided that her life was too full. Memories of her recently deceased husband, two jobs, studies in nursing oh. school. She didn't need a man in her life. Yeah. <laughs> Here's an irony, because here I am with the busiest woman in the Western Hemisphere, president and CEO and <laughs> heaven knows what else. I must be a glutton for punishment. Now, I have got a big job. Ask a busy person if you want to get something done, right? All right. I have person. a big job, but I'd always find time for you. Yeah? Mm-hmm. About right now. You haven't left that spot since I came home. Nope. Um, I'm sorry I didn't show up at the Mona Lisa tonight. Lila, I just didn't feel like a crowd. Actually, it's just as well that you didn't go. Franny was there, huh? Mm-hmm. And Daryl, too. And Bob. <laughs> Whew. I guess he's going for the family blessing. <sighs> well, I gotta hand it to the guy. I mean, he sees what he wants, he goes for it, he gets it. I gotta hand it to him. Oh, Larry, I'm so sorry. I... You know, Lila, I've been doing some thinking. I just... I just don't know if I can handle bumping into them together all over town. I just don't know if I can handle seeing them like I did last night at Tom and Margo. So, um... I've thinking about just packing it in, moving back to Boston. anti-itch medicines relieve itching on your skin. Dermarest does more. Its maximum strength formula actually fights the cause of the itch under the skin. Dermarest stops the itch where it starts. And now new Dermarest Plus in cooling gel and spray. Years ago when this was my piano, your mom helped me dust it with Pledge. Now that it's ours, I use Touchable Pledge. With Pledge, smears just disappear. I taught someone that same song. Also in a trigger spray bottle. Before you get on the road this summer, call for this coupon book. It's worth over a thousand dollars at places like Red Lobster, Alamo Rent-A-Car, and theme parks. And it's yours free when you reserve a room at any choice hotel, like Quality, Comfort, Clarion, and Sleep. But call today. They're going fast. Call 1-800-4-CHOICE to reserve your room and free coupon book. Supplies are limited. If you spend over $20 a month on long distance, you deserve to be treated better. You deserve frequent caller awards and a special customer service number. You deserve a whole new level of special service. You deserve to be a Sprint priority customer. Is this just another clever way to get that other phone company's best customers? You bet it is. Are you sure that they, they were skinny, skinny dipping? Skinny dipping. Andy and I were out there so fast. Oh, 
Well, I am glad. I am so glad that Mother has found someone. Because she was, she's been so lonely since Andy's father left. You gave him a name. Andy. Oh, Andy, 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 what Andy. The moo. Andy's going to be calling you any minute. Just you morning, watch. Morning, another beautiful morning. My dog. Hello, Hello. 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 I'm so Good happy morning. to see you out here playing around Me with too. your mm, cute friend in the sunlight. Yes, well, you're in a good mood. Yes, yes, I am. I am indeed. Indeed. Why indeed. shouldn't I? Indeed. Well, <laughs> well, you two girls, you going to the art club today? Yes. Oh. <clears throat> we work lunchtime. Ah, uh, you know, I don't know why. How Andy manages that? How can he have a full-time job there and still take all these other photography jobs? Oh, good goodness. morning, ladies. Uh, good morning. morning. Yeah, good morning. Good looking. Your sister is still asleep, but never mind. And don't you rush. Don't rush to work. The two of you have been working so hard and so late. Oh, thanks. Uh, do you know when Kirk's due back from his honeymoon? Ah, uh, yes. He's due back, um... He's due back tomorrow. And he better be in good form, I can tell you that. Because he's a stockholder now, and I expect extra work. I'm ravenous. I'm absolutely... I could eat... I think I'll have Rosa whip me up some scrambled eggs. Mm. Want to have breakfast with me, Evan? Oh, thanks. That'd be great. <laughs> uh, listen, I hope you didn't say anything to Lucinda about my moving out. Uh, no, I, I, I just hope Bianca. Bianca, why wouldn't you want Mother to know? Oh, it's not that. I just want to tell her myself. She's been so good to me and Connor. Yeah. Well, she's so fond of both you and Connor. She's always saying how Connor's like a, a daughter to her, so... Is Connor, um, is she going to be moved back into the pool house after you get your own apartment? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Rosa says, we have some cheros, hey. Oh, I love them. I haven't had that since uh, I went to Mexico. Mexico? Oh, you went to Mexico? Yeah. Oh, I'll get it's, it. Yeah. Oh, no. It's for me. No? Oh. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Um, hi. <laughs> Good morning. Hang on. Yeah, she's here. Hang on. Dear, Courtney, it's for you. It's Andy. I told you. Thank you. Hey, I expected you to call last night. How was everything once you got up there? Not good. So tell me, what part of Mexico did you go to? Well, we went to Mexico City, and then Acapulco. Oh. Then we took this train down to Cancun, and I mean, the beaches. Oh. Hey, I'm going home um, before work, so why don't you meet up with me there? We can talk. I can't, Court. I'm sorry. Why can't you? Listen to me, Courtney. Julie's going through a rough time right now. I had to spend the night here. I'm still in Park Forest. Did the landlady see any visitors to Wendell's apartment? No. She said he only moved in a couple of days ago. But she did say she heard the phone ringing in his apartment when she went up there to check on him. But by the time she let herself in, it had already stopped. What the hell was Frank Wendell doing in Park Forest? I don't know. Probably the first mob hit they ever had over there. Yeah, if that's what it was. Could have been somebody trying to make it look like that. Ooh, took the words right out of my mouth, Thomas. What about his personal effects here, anything? The lab just brought him down. No prints on anything except his own. So he's living there under an alias, huh? Yeah. Fred Weaver. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. This is not very original. What about an address book? No, just a couple of phone numbers written on matchbooks and a few slips of paper we haven't checked out yet. She was traveling light. Yeah, there's less than 40 here. Yeah. And he didn't take his watch either. But we found this in his pocket. 500. Mm. Whoa. Crisp bills, huh? Looks like a payoff. Yeah, right before the big payoff. Anything else? Yeah. Found this key. Didn't fit his apartment. Looks like a house key. And I have a hunch what house it opens. There's a breed of man who lives for the challenge of the grill. The roar of the flames. And the cold steel of the spatula. Let's cook. We're doing pizza. But this summer, Pizza Hut has the incredible picnic pairs deal. Try one of three great pizza lovers' pizzas for just $8.99 and get a second for just four bucks more. Okay. Who wants another side? Pizza Hut, great. I have a confession. I have no idea how to choose a long-distance calling plan. I don't have to. Sprint does it for me. They keep track of when and where I call and actually let me know which calling plan will save me the most money. They do all that just because I'm a Sprint Priority customer. 
and I thought it was because I was their spokesperson. It's a comfort to know more people have taken Somonex over the past 30 years than any other sleep aid. Safe, simple, Somonex. When I get a headache... I have this headache. I've got a really bad headache. A lot of pain relievers say they're strong for headaches, but remember, just one Motrin IB gives you as much pain relief as two of those. End of headache. Non-prescription Motrin IB. <clears throat> Larry, um, yeah. I was thinking about what you were talking about last night, you know, about moving back to Boston and everything. And, and, uh, now listen, I might be selfish, but I don't want you to go. Uh, Katie and I would, would just miss you too much. That A lot of people would. I mean, Susan and everybody at the hospital, your patients. I miss you, too. But I just... I just don't think I Holy can hang smokes, around Who's here. looking after the six people? Joe, <laughs> yeah, hi. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> well, this is just great. Um, just in time for breakfast. Well, I'm sorry. I've, I've already eaten. I just came by to see my buddy here. Oh, well, uh, well, why don't I get you some coffee, huh? I wouldn't turn that down. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry Katie's not here. She's at Tom and Margo's. You know how... She loves to see you. Well, I'll come by sometime when she's here. Okay. Well, um, I'll go get your coffee just the way you like it. And, uh, don't go away. Well, I wouldn't. <laughs> okay. Well, talk about a warm well. Hey, well, what do you expect? She's happy to see you. I mean, well, either that or she's just getting more comfortable with me now that she's made her feelings so abundantly clear. But I came by to see you. How are you doing? How am I doing? How am I doing? I'm doing good. Good. As a matter of fact, I was... been thinking about packing it in, just moving back to Boston. Oh, well... Yeah, I thought about going back to Waco when Emma told me that she wouldn't marry me, but, uh... I had granddaughter here and farm and all that, you know, so I couldn't just pack up and leave. Anyway, you know, you're liable to find things that are gonna remind you of Franny in Boston, too. Yeah, well, there are a lot of towns we never visited together, so maybe I could move to one of those. Well, I'd give it some thought. It's a big decision. I mean, I know I'm very happy that I didn't move away. You know, I, I enjoy seeing Emma now, just as a friend. And I found another lady that I have a lot of fun with. It's not Lila, of course, but uh, we have a lot to offer each other. I think there's probably a woman out there somewhere to help you forget, too. Franny. Uh, Tommy, don't get the wrong idea. I, I didn't get the wrong idea. If you're you didn't have to say anything. I could see by the... <clears throat> Fine. Hi, Joel. How you doing? Come on in. Hello, Franny. Carol's in the kitchen. I'll go get him. Excuse me just a minute. Good morning. Oh. Any news about this Wendell character? Uh, no. We found something in his personal effects. Margaret wanted you to take a look at him. Does this look at all familiar? Yeah, it looks like one of the keys we had made for the house. Mind if I try it in your front door? Go right ahead. Uh, after Margo called last night, Tommy, I, I wondered if I should talk to Caleb so that he could call Julie and tell him about... No, I'll call Caleb this morning. Uh, it's your front door, all right. Well, it must be the key that Arthur never returned. How did it get into Frank Wendell's gym bag? Well, who knows, you know? Maybe he gave it to him. You know, I told you Arthur was behind the break-in and the murder, and now this is the proof. Not necessarily. He could have picked up the key during the burglary. So where's Margo this morning? She's up at the park forest doing some more digging. You know, can't hurt. You never know when another piece of the puzzle might fall in and fit, just like this key. Julie, promise me you'll take care of yourself. Look, I'll be up for a Ma's class tomorrow, and if you need to reach me before that, just beat me. I just keep thinking about the kids and Frank's mom. You know, I should call her or something, but I can't let her know that I'm here, and, and, and I don't want her to know that I saw Frank right before he was killed. Police will notify his mom. I'll fish around and make sure. 
Oh, I sure caused you a lot of trouble. We'll handle that, okay? You just take care of that baby. I don't know what I would do without you. Oh, don't. Yes, I'm Mrs. Foster. What can I do for you? I'm Detective Hughes, Oakdale Police. I wanted to talk to you about the shooting last night. go to Lens Crafters because with my job, glasses in an hour are not just a convenience, they're a must. Lens Crafters puts the whole lab right in the store to custom craft your top quality glasses in about an hour. Lens Crafters, custom crafted eyeglasses in about an hour. Do you know what you're missing every morning if you're still drinking plain old orange juice? Wake up to something exciting. Dole Breakfast Juices, delicious combinations of 100% real fruit juice. Oily here, dry there. If you're unclear about what to do, Fizoderm can help. It moisturizes dry spots and cleans away the oily ones. Fizoderm can leave your combination skin in perfect balance and picture perfect. Fizoderm, today's solution for combination skin. My best friend and I went out last night with our brand new perms. Well, she had gone to the salon and spent way too much. And I had gotten an Ogilvy home perm. People kept saying to me, oh, your hair is gorgeous. But nobody really said anything to her. The Precisely Right Home Perm, it's got automatic shut-off timing. I couldn't have overdone it. I couldn't have underdone it. It's perfect. I'm glad I didn't go with her to the salon. I'm Paula Zahn. And I'm Harry Smith. You've seen the commercial, I've Fallen and I Can't Get Up. Do emergency response systems really save lives? Tomorrow on CBS This Morning. A criminal prosecutor must lose a case. The lady's taking a dive. To save her kidnapped child. He says he's gonna kill my baby. Jake and the Fat Man. <laughs> then, they thought it couldn't happen to their kids. They were wrong. Scandal, an all-new 48 hours. Following Jake and the Fat Man, all Wednesday. Stay tuned for Guiding Light, next on most of these CBS stations. Later on TV6, join Cheryl Miller and Roger Harvey for continuing news coverage on Live at 5. Now stay tuned for The Guiding Light right here on TV6, Virginia's first choice. Join us tomorrow for As the World Turns. This is CBS.